can do. Those who can't talk about those who can. Now, can you or can you not? No, you just want to sit on the sideline and talk about other people. Or can you step up? What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody is having a great day. I um, <laughs> It's been a sad, sad day for me, actually, quite frankly. It's been a hard day. But with it being Taco Tuesday, I decided to go get me some tacos. And, of course, tacos make everything better. My suggestion to everybody is go get yourself some tacos. And I thought about taking the taco sauce, the hot sauce, and just pouring it in my eye. Because I think that that might be a little bit better than watching literally our Dallas Cowboys um, do absolutely, positively nothing. I have Philly 500 who has been texting me. He's like, bro, what's going on with the Cowboys? It's like, okay, I'm, I'm not in the mood for some shit. Okay, I'm not in the mood for any shit. He's not, no, he's like, seriously, what, what's going on? He said, why haven't they gotten Dak Prescott a contract or restructured or something? And I'm kind of like, I don't know, man. I said, I think the Cowboys are literally looking to just say, screw all these guys. We're just going to go ahead with the slow death, and we're just going to move on from everybody. I, I, I can't say that there's anything good about what's going on. Let me say, give a shout out to everybody that's here. Brian, I know Brian's happy because the commanders with the left hand up are now North Dallas 40. They signed their third, third Dallas Cowboy player in Dante Fowler. Congratulations. Uh, you've got Dorrance Armstrong, Dante Fowler, as well as T uh, Tyler Biotish. So congratulations. Uh, Twiz Digga in the house. Thomas Garrett in the house, Eric in the house. Baltimore is the team that listens to their quarter, quarterback, I guess. Jeff Lee in the house. Jeff, the Cowboys don't understand. Coach Jeff, good afternoon. Sugar Daddy in the house. Marley Green's in the house. Uh, Crystal Caramel Corn. We all. We, we all get some Virginia, what's up, Ronnie? Um, Isaac in the house. Uh, we already said hello to Twist Digger. Let's see. It's Dak's fault. That's Mark's late. <laughs> well, you know, I, I tell you what. That's not my words. He, here's let, let me give you a taste. Now I know uh, my main main man Brian is uh, the mailman is out delivering, and he's going to be joining me when he gets uh, gets back to his man cave and stuff. But I want you to listen to this because uh, here, here's where this is where I can tell you where this is going. This is where I can tell you where this is going. Um, the Cowboys have done absolutely nothing. Now Danielle Hunter is still a free agent. That's good. They know that they have problems at running back because Deuce Vaughn is the only one on the roster, and they decide after paying Zeke Elliott, you know, the richest running back contract in the history of football. That we go from you know having a nineteen million dollar cap hit with him to a ten million dollar franchise tag with um, Tony Pollard to then going to and saying three million dollars three and a half million is our limit for running back. Okay, so wait a minute. You know running back is an issue. You know that running back is an issue. And you're only going to put in $3 million? And if, if nothing else, at least restructure Dak Prescott's contract to at least give you some. Even if, if you're not going to sign him, you're, you're going to have to pay him that same money one way or the other. But I'll uh, shout out to Wade because Wade shared this with me uh, from G-Bag Nation. Um, this is actually from yesterday, so let's listen to this. A massive day in uh, in the NFC East with the Eagles adding a couple of impact players 
and uh, quarterbacks on the move. Let's do it. General at your service. There's Broadus, the former Cowboy Scout NFL executive. There's Lucius Alexander, the Pimp Cup. Wolchuk and Shia Follower here. And Eric Chia, uh, and uh, Carter Freeman is coordinating your video. 105.thefan.com, Twitch, and uh, YouTube. Chris Jones has stayed with the Chiefs five years and 160. That's uh, $32 million from him. That's not a breaking news story, but it's pretty cool. Kirk Cousins, 4 and 180 with the Atlanta Falcons. Does that make you feel differently about the Dak Prescott negotiation that's coming up? I mean, he's going to get about $15 million less than what Dak Prescott is going to get. I, I think this is point Dak doubters, you know, and Dak homers. You got to prove to me why your guy is 30% better than Kirk Cousins. You know, and I, I just, I don't think it's there. I, I think these teams like Atlanta and Tampa are now doing it right. I'd rather have Cousins at that money, Mayfield at his money, than Dak Prescott at somewhere 57, 58, 60 million bucks. I think Dak's probably still going to end up getting what he wants in this. It seems like that's how negotiations go. And he's got uh, a cutthroat agent and Todd France, who's very, very good at this. But I hear yeah. you. I mean, when you look at kind of the the success, the production, that Kirk Cousins and Dak have had, it's very, very similar. Yeah, I think the only thing you could look at right now, obviously age, and then you have Kirk Cousins off an Achilles injury. So Sure, but the Cowboys paid Dak after the ankle injury, right? So they don't seem like they care. No, I, I 100% agree, but when you're trying to figure out right. why should Dak be getting more than Kirk Cousins, I think that's where Don you would French point would to, hey, that. he's older, Kirk Cousins is older, and uh, he's also coming off a pretty catastrophic injury as well. So those would be some of the things, but I'm with you guys. I, 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 I'd much rather pay less for, ultimately, it's the same thing. Mm -hmm. I understand that regular season Dak and his numbers blow Baker Mayfield's out of the water. Yeah. Baker Mayfield's best QBR year is less than Dak's worst. So I understand that. But ultimately, to the playoffs... What, and that's really what this comes down to now. We're past, like the last, I, I cannot stand hearing the MVP seasons Dak just had, MVP, yeah. MVP season Dak just had. Who cares? And he didn't even win it. Like it was a down year for the MVP. We're wondering, is a running back going to get it? Or is a non-quarterback going to get it? Because we don't even know. And in a down MVP year, your guy couldn't even get it. And in playoff moments throughout the regular season, Niners, Bills, doesn't show up, doesn't even give you a chance. And then you get to the playoffs at home, doesn't give you a chance. So yes, if you... I am as out on Dak as as any I mean as as you could really be, but I would still I would take Baker Mayfield right now for thirty million dollars over Dak for for that and and either and I will say this I wouldn't want to do the Baker deal either because ultimately your ceiling is with Baker yeah. basically what Dak's is yeah. so it's not like anything's really changing ultimately you don't do either one of those things and you go find a, a super cheap quarterback in the draft and you hope he's a stud. That's like the way that. you actually do it, unless you just want to, like Tampa's telling you right now, for Tampa fans, hey, we are very happy being in the worst division in football. We feel like we can host a playoff game with Baker Mayfield probably two out of the next three years, and we know that is as good as it's going to get for us, and that's fine. But at least they're only paying $30 million for that and not whatever Dak's going to get. Double. <laughs> Brian? Yeah, I mean, the, the determination you have to make is, like you guys have talked about, can you – can you actually get to and win a Super Bowl mm. with Dak Prescott or with, you know, Baker Mayfield or Kirk Cousins? The you answer know, is no. The See, so that's so if if what gives you the best chance to maybe get to the Super Bowl then? What gives Not you having the, any one of those quarterbacks. Okay. I have to have one of these quarterbacks, though. Who do I need? the Who can I take? Who I could take their money and help my team. Who gives you the best chance then? You know what Dak. I'm saying? Well, Dak, if you could take all that money and help That's your team. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. If somehow you can get Dak to agree to what Kirk Cousins and those guys and Baker Mayfield are doing, then there's your chance to at least get to a Super Bowl. Well, with these other quarterbacks, you're not. At least extend Dak so well that you free up that to happen one year. You know, That's there, there's saying. a way you could get Dak all yeah. of his money, but then yeah. backload it to the point where you're like, this is going to be our year where we yeah. have all of his money to spend on other players or a big chunk of his money to spend if on other players. If you could somehow get Dak to take the same money these guys are taking, it, he'd it, feel great. It, it, Absolutely. Because yeah, he's you better know, than them. Because, you know, Josh, you must be new here, bro. This is my live stream, my live show, just showing another show, laughing my out. But you know what? You don't have to worry about it because bye, bitch. Back to Dallas them. will be able to find players. 
Yeah. Atlanta can't find players. Tampa, maybe. You know, they get lucky every once in a while down there with Jason Light. Yeah, boys, so Here's the Jack problem, boys. though, when Jerry Jones owns your team. He's saying, well, yeah, Kirk Cousins makes 45 and Dak 60, and that costs me more against the cap, but I more than make up for that $15 million in revenue because yes. of what Dak Prescott is for our marketing. And I, I think whenever you're trying to balance winning the Super Bowl and making money, you're a pretender, not a real you're contender. A uh, Wolchuk hits you with the news. Gardner Min- All right, so there you have that. So think about that for a second here. And this is, to me, what this is. And for uh, Josh Prout, there was a reason why I wanted to bring this up because I wanted to bring up a point that is being made out there. And if you don't like the, what I'm serving here at Mark's, Mark's Restaurant, there's other places you can go eat at. So go eat someplace else, okay? My point being here is, one... This is 105 The Fan being an arm and an instrument for the Joneses. See, I think the Joneses ended up before. When Dak Prescott got his contract before, you'll remember what Stephen Jones said. You know, Dak's got to understand he's got to leave, you know, some, some money on the table for others. And that's when the Cowboys started doing this deconstruction. Um this deconstruction of the team where they decided we're going to get rid of Amari Cooper. We're not going to bring back Cedric Wilson. And we're going to start the season with Michael Gallup, who's on injured reserve basically because he's not ready to return, and receivers that did not have a single NFL touchdown catch other than Amari Cooper. And so you go into a season like that, you you make it harder for your quarterback. And here it is, we've been continuing to do this, taking away talent on the Cowboys' offense between losing Zeke and not replacing him, now Tony Pollard and not replacing him. Um, Of course, we lost Amari Cooper, you lost offensive linemen, and Lyle Collins, Connor McGovern, Connor Williams. And you keep throwing this on, you know, well, Dak... We, we we haven't seen yeah I think we haven't seen the best of Dak Prescott yet, and Dak Prescott took on more of the load last year. You can't look and say that that you know people used to say that Zeke Elliott carried the offense. You couldn't say that about Tony Pollard, and here it was he thrived with thirty six TDs and only nine interceptions, and yeah, it sucks. Now I see people in here saying you know I thought we were going to get Derrick Henry. Well. That was the rumor, and of course, we always want to hope for the best, but we need to expect the worst, and we won't be disappointed. And the reality is, is the Cowboys, they set in their mind, here's what we're going to do at running back, okay? We'd like to have Derrick Henry. We'd like to have Saquon Barkley, but we need to have met our price, and our price for those guys is like $4.5 million. And what we... We heard that the day before free agency started. Now, this year, unlike last year, where running backs were basically persona non grata, this year people said, you need running backs. And so the market went up. Running backs got the love this year. And now, here it is, the Jones are saying, well, you know, after Lola, what's up, Lola? Stacy Schubert in the house. Joanne Gonzalez, what's up, JoJo? Um, no name, throw the voodoo doll away and repeat or repent. Uh, no name, how about you kiss my high yellow ass, okay? I- I'm going to tell you right now, boom. You know what? I'm, I'm not putting up with stupid shit today. So let, let me put y'all on notice today, okay? I, I'm feisty. I've had my tacos. I had extra hot sauce, okay? So I'm burning inside. Junebug, what's up? Ezekiel will be carrying Deuce in the back in a backpack on Sundays. Um, Stacy Schubert, what's up? Uh, Michael Sullivan, Jerry is lost in space. Packer fan, Cowboys already won and done 30th annual. Brad Harris, what's up, Brad? Eric Willis. Who was it? Laugh out loud. Um, I hope he was truly on his advisor board. Um, hey, Cowboys and Bobby Bobby Ice. Mark, Cowboys going to clear this big cap hits and dead money off their books instead of uh, 
kicking kicking the can down the road. You know, Walker Wade, <clears throat> I'm 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 actually on that train right now. That that's the Cowboys' plan is <clears throat> we're just gonna do the bare minimum. Don't spend any more money, and we're just gonna let it be whatever it's gonna be. To me, this is major league. You know, where we got Cowboy Joe Boo and any jackass that come in here and tell me to get rid of Joe Boo can hit the road, okay? You can hit the damn road, Mother Humper, okay? Yeah, I'm I'm definitely on it today. I'm definitely a little pissed. Dalvin Cook, okay. Um, yeah. Um, love you, Mark, and all you do for us, but I'm done with this off season. I'll see you if we can Yeah. Jerry, I can't blame you, bro. I can't blame you one bit. Homemade pizza for me. Gentlemen of culture, I thought Deuce Vaughn was the next Darren Sproles. Now you're saying we have no running backs. Well, you know, we always are optimistic as Cowboy fans. We always want to believe that this is, you know, that this is the ceiling. We think the ceiling is going to be what they all are. And the reality is, is it won't. Now, here's where it's going to get tricky as always. This is the exact same thing that went on last year. Last year, Cowboys did absolutely nothing. Same thing the other years before. And somehow, the Cowboys win enough to still make the playoffs and make, make it so that Stephen Jones can say, well, you know, we, we've won 36 games over the last three years and stuff. And, you know, we're that second behind the Kansas City Chiefs. And, you know, we feel good about ourselves. And, uh, you know, when building a team, you can't use free agency because if you, if you are buying guys on the first day, you're spending a lot of money, and we feel like that's not the right way to build a team. Okay, so when you don't have players, you just say, we're just going to do without them? Okay, all right, Eric Spencer, shout out to you. Boom, appreciate the super chat there, buddy. Um, breaking news, Eagles trade Saquon Barkley, okay. Wow, Jones family needs to let this team go, even though it's the only dream that would happen. What's up, Sugar Daddy from Derek Young, Jay? He's feeding y'all dreams and y'all fighting for it. Well, you're right. He is feeding us dreams. When you think about um, Let's see if I can find it. Mm. Nope, don't have it. I thought I had the clip of him saying, "We're going all in." Um I, I, I'm literally, I'm just literally just, just stunned. I'm just stunned. Um, for those just tuning in, uh, Dante Fowler becomes the third Cowboy to go to North Dallas in Washington. Uh, Mark, we're going to the Super Bowl this year. Watch, I feel like everybody's underestimating us and you young guys. Um, G-Dead fan, 88. Uh, you know, I, I'd like to believe that and, and hope that that could happen. Um, but it's hard to think that because we have a late first round, late second round, third round, no fourth, um, a fifth, two sixes, and a seventh round draft pick. We have one running back who is five foot five on the roster we've lost a starting left tackle we've lost a center we have lost two edge rushers already um we've done nothing with stefan gilmore our best cornerback is going to be coming back from an acl and we've seen having problems there our linebacker core consists of at the moment Leighton Van Der Esch, who has broken his neck a second time. Damone Clark, um, who had a fuse back, was a little bit exposed this year. And Overshone, 
who's coming back from an ACL. So we have three linebackers that are not in great shape. You've lost two edge rushers, and your uh, most of your defensive line. Rico Daddle's a free agent. He hasn't signed with anybody yet. Maybe they bring him back. And yes, and Gall- Gallimore is actually recovering from shoulder surgery for the next three months. So where you can look at it and say we're great. I know people will disagree, but you've got a great quarterback. You don't have a running game. You've got two really great guards. A tackle who was mm, last year coming back from ACL. You have a budding tight end. You have a great wide receiver who needs to grow up. You've got a good second wide receiver. On your defense, you have a, a good secondary, no linebackers an edge rusher, and at the moment, you don't have a defensive line. Other than that, everything's great. And so if we're looking and saying, we're going to have the young guy step up, and we're just going to use the draft. Um, Brad, I'll do, after game time gets in, game time's going to be joining us at some point when he gets back home. Um, It's hard to kind of look at this at the moment and say, yeah, we're good. Because I think about, here's the kind of things I think about. Brandon Cooks is the number two wide receiver. When I think about two years ago, going to tra- last time I went to training camp, all off season, all summer long, we talked about um, needing linebackers. Because Leighton Van Der Esch was the only one that had actually had starting experience. We, ha- we brought in some journeyman linebackers. We had some young guys that had only been on the field for a couple of plays. And we kept saying, we need linebackers. We need linebackers. Their solution, let's get Anthony Barr. Let's get Anthony Barr and put him back there Anthony Barr who had tore his ACL was still recovering and was on his way out that's their solution we're looking at the same thing right now so we've had a problem at linebacker since Leighton Van Der Esch's rookie season that's the last time you can actually look and say we had good linebacker play consistently when we had Predator and the Wolf Hunter. If you re- here, here's what's what's interesting on 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 uh, Joe. I, I see everybody saying resign Zeke, bring Zeke back. Zeke ain't the answer, bro. The problem with it is the dead money on Zeke doesn't change. It doesn't change. That dead money is because of that contract. It's still going to be there. It's going to be there whether or not. We brought back Brandon Carr, and we had dead money on him from before, and then cut him. Um, I saw somebody else say that Alexander uh, Matson, who has 2,300 yards, did we actually sign him? Let me look on the Twitter. Hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. The, s- the sad thing is, is we are so starved. Um, that anything would um I'm not seeing anything on that Alexander Madison
If you guys have seen it, I haven't. Let's see. I'm not seeing it on Twitter, at least. Alexander Matterson? No. If you guys have seen it someplace, then tell me where you've seen it, because I'm not finding it. Tyron Smith is still available. Uh, Mark, can you do a picture for my wife as a surprise? Boo Cow yeah, email me cowboysmark94 gmail um, and send me the picture, Boo, and I, I can figure out what it'll cost to do it. Um, the real deal. Mark, what type of numbers do you think Hertz will put up? Th I don't care, man. But with Kellen Moore, oh, gee. man, I'm not here to talk about the Eagles. F the Eagles. He's probably $3 million worth. Cowboys all in for profits. There you go. You're right on that. He's on the Cowboys new. Madison is from the Vikings. Is it Madison or Ma Madison? I'm not seeing it on Twitter. You guys are seeing something I'm not. Alexander Madison from the Vikings. Don't see it. What I do see a lot of is the Eagle fans uh, killing me. Eastside, Mark, be nice. 50% can is us. Don't fail back now. Uh, LT, man, not today. Not today, bro. Not today. Who is Cowboys? Matt Matson? You'd rather have, uh, yeah, but I'm not seeing him signed anywhere. I'm, I'm looking at it. Matson. Boom. Tell me where you guys are seeing it because it's not on Twitter. He was released by the Vikings on March 4th. They officially parted ways. He's a running back. Okay. Um, has played 59 career games, recorded 404 year rushing yards for 1,600 yards, 11 touchdowns. And he's still listed as a free agent. So where are you guys seeing that we signed him? Yes, he was released last week. So where's everybody saying... Um, we signed him. He's it's not not popping up on here. Are you saying we should sign him? Maybe that's it. That's what I'm saying, Chris. People were saying that we signed him, um, but I was like, okay, because sometimes it happens, you know, real time, and we just don't. I don't see it. Breaking news: New York Giants signed Jalen Mills. Okay, Leonard Fournette, and again another over the hill guy. With Kellen Moore as the OC, probably have been uh, be hurt Dax three years and Justin Hurts last year. Yeah, that's what I. Yeah, that's you're you're one hundred percent right, Clouds. Yeah, Mark, you think Jimmy will have something to do with Dallas's team? Um, I wonder if Jimmy said, you know what, he, he, this is a possibility that Jimmy Johnson has gone through and said, you know what, y you need to just start all over, Jerry, just start all over. Cowboys have signed Casper the Ghost. Okay. No, he's still a free agent. Yeah. So there's that. There's nobody at the moment coming in. Now, the only thing that will make you feel better is a lot of these moves that teams have made um, will end up blowing up in their face. It, it will. You know, you, we'll look back on a lot of these and say, damn, that was a terrible move. Because I remember when Russell Wilson was, you know, being traded, people were saying, damn, we should have dumped Dak. We should have traded for Russell Wilson. Well, it's a good thing we didn't do that one. 
Mark signing today's players, you're giving comp- – yeah, and that's for next year. And this goes to the theory of maybe they're building for next year and the new coach. Dallas Cowboys getting young players. I'm tired of the Jones family ruining our team. Well, here's the catch-22. All right, I'm going to give you give you at least a little bit of realness here. Here is actually a reality is – they are good, actually, at building a team from nothing. The thing is, they do 90%. They go 90% of the way, but they don't finish. And at some point, you got to realize there's a couple of places you've got to get some premier players. You can't, you can't have pro bowlers across the line. That would be great if we could, but you can't. So you have, you have to pick and choose where you're going to put your resources and you have to be logistic with how you do your contracts. And you got to be sure. And you can't overpay. Now, I get it. They're trying to take Dak and say, you know, we don't want to overpay this guy. After you have gone through and overpaid everybody else, that the one guy who deserves to get another contract is the one guy that you want to screw. You, this is where listening to the guys from the fan, you know, they're saying, you know what? We'd be better off taking, you know, Baker Mayfield. Well, hell, why not just go ahead and get Andy Dalton then? If your whole thing is we're paying too much to the court, let's just go get Andy Dalton. How about that? Or, or you know, trade for Justin Fields. Go ahead and do that. Those guys will be a lot cheaper. If you think that getting a cheaper quarterback is going to help you, by all means, go do that. And you basically are telling Micah to play defense by himself. And if you're like Micah and Dak and these guys, you got to be looking around and saying, is this where I want to spend the rest of my career? We have serious weakness and we're doing nothing. Dan Quinn is stealing your team. The stars, you have to play better, Mark. Sure, we can... Uh, at players, but Dak, Micah, CD, and D-Law got to step up. You know, they can step up, but they're still not enough, even if they're stepping up and playing at an elite level. Bang, bang, bird stain. Yeah, we're salty as fuck, bird bang. So take your new shiny pieces and get the hell out. How about that? Um, how? Uh, who deserves the new contract for two playoff wins? Derek Young. Seems like Trey Lance era is coming. That would not be a surprise. Well, it's building time. That's why we gone after next year, Mark. But I, I know all the trolls out here are enjoying um are enjoying seeing what we're doing here or lack of doing because it makes them happy that there's blood in the water. And um we got my man Game Time joining me here. Um, I, I'll be honest with you. I'm not. I'm just not feeling it today. I, I've actually sat here because earlier I thought about, okay, do I, do I want to get on at 12 o'clock? And I'm like, why? Why? Why do I want to sit there for hours? Other than the fact that E win this chair is about as comfortable as shit. Oh. Shout out to E win. And there we have Game Time Brian, who is going to be going live on his channel. Are you there? What's going on, man? Are you live? Yeah, I'm there. No, no, I'm I'm not going for another ten minutes. I'm trying to. I'm I'm working on an echo thing. I think it's the mix minus. If you know what that is, the mix minus. But okay, mix minus on the Roadcaster Pro. Mix minus. There's a setting it's called mix minus well, where that's, see what the roadcaster wants to do is take a signal, bring it in, and loop it back out. And okay, anytime I'm the, the, doing this, the, the, sharing the screen, high tech one that I, that you have. Okay. Okay. Well, well, we'll know when I go live. So, okay. You know. All right, man. I'm not feeling this today, man. I, I'm I'm hangry. I, I I had some great tacos, you know, some nice carne asada ones, with great hot carne sauce asada, and 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 things. And I thought that would help me make me feel better, but it just made me feel more spicy. You know, Dante now can Fowler, they hear me? Yeah, I think they can. Dante Fowler is uh, signed by the Commanders, so we have North right. Dallas, Washington. Um, North, yeah, and listen, everybody, 
I'm going to open up your chat. Everybody, uh, the last thing I'm worried about is the Washington stinking commanders. They really have not, you know, I'm not worried about them at all. But, you know, it's just, I should know better, right? How many people you got? Is it lively or not really? Uh, we got about 400 people in the house. They're mostly trolls that are here uh, getting blocked. What's up, everybody? Uh calibrated brian okay um i don't blame jerry for not spending money because the dudes he's paid are stealing money you know marcus um i'm not going to say that that's the case if you honestly i mean come on let's let, let's be realistic here do you honestly look at the talent on our defense and compare it to a san francisco 49ers defense seriously yes we have micah parsons Micah is great. But how many of those other pieces would be able to start on San Francisco on that front? Seriously. Yeah. How many how many guys besides Micah Parsons on our front seven would be able to start for San Francisco? You you tell me. This is true. You are correct, sir. Okay. So when we say we're paying bums, well, maybe you're right that, that we're not we're not paying elite talent. And you see the Joneses will go through and say, yeah, we got a problem at running back. We went from spending $20 million a year on running backs to now saying we need to find a guy for three. I don't know how you can figure that we'll spend less money and we'll get a better player. Now, we do hear that they are interested in drafting a running back. Okay, that's fine. But we also have... Um, Two offensive linemen that we have lost. We also Brian Brodus thinks they're retooling or uh, rebuilding. I've told you that they all stuff. do. Yeah. yeah, you did. You I, did. I told you. He that. thinks they're rebuilding. So um, now, how does that look? Does a rebuild mean the quarterback? Uh, you know, I still think they get something done. But my whole thing is okay. So. You know, you got to bring CD back. You're going to bring Dak back, or, or are you not going to bring Dak back? And then that would have a direct correlation whether CD Dak wants to stay, here, right? For, well, here's the thing: is for what though, right? That's what we're saying. Yeah, you know, why would I, you? I still say that you're playing Russian roulette. If you go through this season and say we're just going to waste the season to dump contracts, and say you know Dak, <coughs> we'll, we'll negotiate with you next year, next off season. Why would you want to go through? Because here, you know, the urgency, as Dan Quinn put it, is you need to take care of these things now because tomorrow's not promised. You've seen Dak have his thumb broken. You see Dak have his ankle basically broken in half. What happens if that happens this year? Or how many more yeah. games do you have? So wasting a season is ridiculous. And if you're going to go out here and get rid of two offensive linemen and not say we're going to do anything to do it and literally have no running game, why would I want to come back here? Why not yeah. take my money? And here's what I will say. Dak will have a fantastic season. Dak is only playing like a man possessed. You know why? Why? Because the better he plays this season, the more money that he's going to either get from the Cowboys or, or somebody, else. somebody else. Could yeah. you imagine if Dak Prescott had an MVP season and was a free agent? After the yeah, I think they had. sign him, but I think a restructure looks like um, a retool means um, – well, we'll talk about it. But it, you know, I think it's going to look like uh, – yeah, you know, just like just drafting, and they're just going to let some of these expiring contracts go. Uh, what's your thought on Tyron Smith not being uh, signed? Uh, yeah. Well, what's your thought on Daniel Hunter not being signed? Well, Tyron Smith, I could tell you, is people like their offensive tackles to to, to practice. <laughs> you would thought that <laughs> he, he would be. <laughs> You know, so Daniel Hunter, he wants us a high dollar, and I don't know where that dollar is going to come from at this point. Uh, people, Everybody's being frugal. That money that was spent in Philly, sorry to say, twelve over 12 mil, more power to you, but that was 
foolish, foolish spending there. Um, but you can't tell that to the Eagle fans. Congratulations. You're, at oh, least yeah, you have excitement. Yeah. You know, I'm not going to sit here and rain on your parade. You guys went and did something. That's what we're talking about. I don't have to agree with Saquon. I would never bring you know Saquon for 12 mil. You know, everything is elevated. That's the one thing about yesterday, as you saw, and today. I mean, Derrick Henry got that. But I told everybody that was going to happen, Mark, because everybody had money to spend. Washington's signing all these lower-level guys. Yeah. Okay. Guys okay, that really that's, I'm not overly impressed, you know, but again, they're taking away from us too, but I didn't want them back, so I'm good. It's just that Derrick Henry thing pissed me off and how this team is just off the reservation, um, you know. Jorge 23, he's going to get killed, Mark, no running game or O-line. I hate to tell you that, um, bro. Not yet. O line. Well, hold on. His O line has not been great the last couple of years, especially two years ago. Remember when we had Jason Peters in there, and we were flip flopping. We had no Tyron Smith because, well, he came in late after pulling the, the hamstring pulled off the bone, and uh, running game, running game was really non-existent this year. So, and, and the team gave up thirty nine sacks this year. So it's not like he had greatness there the last two years. He still thrived at 36 TDs, leading the NFL by four with only nine interceptions. So the thing is, here's the problem because people will say, well, good, we'll just reset. You know, we won't pay these guys. And, and that's, a, that's a, a thing. You can do that and not restructure Dak Prescott, take the dead hit this year and then the 36 next year. But the problem will be is you'll still – probably win enough games that you may make the playoffs in which case you're not in that position to draft that quarterback that you want without moving up in the draft now if you're going to say we're tanking and you see all these players that are signing contracts yeah we might get four compensatory picks next year that's a possibility um you add that all right i'm gonna go live okay all right let's let game time get live on his channel And I will drop the mic. And while he's getting started, for those Commander fans out there. My home team, my loyalty, I'm at Uptown Royalty. We fight for all DC, who are we? My speech. Facts, facts. I'm not making riddles. The Hawks open big old holes for John Riggles. Chantel is on the team. And you knew that he was smashing. Daryl Green is on the team. And you know nobody faster. Thought you was gonna score, but I knew that he would catch up. And Doug Williams was the first black quarterback to win the big dance. Got three rings, went in the big dance. When you got Joe Gibbs, you got a good chance. Let me well, tell you well, something well, about some good fans. Back I in the day, RFK was loud, Palace. If you don't I know, you need to act Palace. But it's been we gonna lose. Right well, I well, I can't so believe the doubters had a whole crowd screaming out. We I got the yacht on there. The um, it's a shit show, people. All right, Brad, thank you. Hopefully, okay. when Mark comes on, Brad, that'll be, if he's not echoing, then I finally fixed it. So let me know. It's this Roadcaster Pro, this newfangled thing. So what's up, everybody? We got um, Brad Harris in the house, JJ, David Belier, David Lady Libra, Vinny Hagen, Clemente. What's up, Clemente? What's going on, everybody? Are, are we, we ready for Brad, day two back, of this back. shit? Brian, 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 Brian. Are we back, back, back? We are. Brian, Brian, yeah, Brian. <laughs> don't start. <laughs> Dude, you're a dick. 
<laughs> so let me know if Mark's echoing or if he sounds good. Hopefully he's not echoing. Good, good, good. Because if he is, good, I'm good. fucked. Hey, hey, Excuse my hey, language. hey, what, what, what? Okay, all right. So I'm a dick, okay. So. No, no, um, it's all good. When, when Washington said we won Dallas, apparently they won all of our players for sure. Uh, I'm well, sick to my stomach, Mike Brian. So, uh, let's see. We officially suck. Well, I, if there's anything I can say that will actually make it maybe feel a little bit better. What's up, East Side? This is exactly where we were last year. This is exactly where we were, and we won 12 games. All right. Thanks, JoJo. Hopefully that was it then. Um, yeah, I know. It, everything sounds good. Thanks, John. You, you Vegas. What's up, John? The Cowboys are going to get a new a coaching staff and Sanders from Colorado. Okay. Shador Sanders. Okay. Hey, okay. I wouldn't hate it. If that meant we're getting Dion, I'll take it. So, but again. The problem will be is, again, one, you're going to have $36 million dead money next year for Dak. You know. Yeah, no, we're not. Okay. I think, I don't think that's happening, but I was just entertaining it for a second. <laughs> but no, well, how, I think. But seriously, though, if you're Dak, why do you want to continue to take, I mean, do you want to finish off your career like Tony Romo did? Well, you take money now. You've you signed a big deal now, but I don't know that that's going to happen. No, but I don't know. Hold on, hold on. Would you rather be Dak Devontae Prescott Parker shot and uh, end your career? Yassin, I mean, uh, I mean, Eagles signed Devontae Parker. He's shot. He's a shot fighter, but whatever. Anyway, go ahead, Mar. I'm sorry. No, no problem. Um, let me make sure I get my words right here. Would you rather end up retiring with the Dallas Cowboys, no ring, and having all of their records and made a boatload of money, where the fans always say you were a choker, uh, you know, that they'll basically look at you like Danny White, or would you rather go ahead and say, let me take this last chunk of change from the Cowboys and decide to go to a team that's got a loaded roster that actually wants to support you and win a Super Bowl? Yeah, I, I mean, I you know see that. You, you when you listen, I mean, what's up, honestly, Chiz Cowboys? Honestly, who out there actually cares? You know, shows any kind of love for the man that is actually happy about what he's done. We literally have him as running up as MVP, and here it is. You got the guys on the fans what's saying up, they'd donkey. rather have Baker Mayfield or Kirk Cousins. I'm like, well, why not bring back Andy Dalton then? You literally uh, have he can't him play. Saying, they're already blaming Dak Prescott. We can't do anything <laughs> because Dak Prescott's contract. They Dak needs to take a team friendly deal and they need to go out and get some play. They're not gonna go out and do that. They're not gonna do that. I, I don't know why people seem to think that that's what the Cowboys Stop, would do. It's not in Steven Jones' DNA. He can't stand signing free agents and it's because they well don't know what the F they're here's doing. the deal and, the, and you said it when you said this is every year my problem lies in this my problem is we we are a smart fan base that's been waiting for a winner for 29 years now uh 30 we're going on 30 years 30 years we're down it's us and like cleveland i think we're down to us and cleveland and the last two teams that have been to an uh, a championship game everybody else in the league washington. has been to one washington. so okay washington okay um so you know and then when you have your owner you're coming out and doing these bus interviews i've told everybody this these uh you know, he were yucking it up with his writers saying, we're going all in. Mm -hmm. Shut up. You're not helping the situation. You're making it worse. All in. In what world is all in uh, having a draft when you don't have a, a pick in every round at that time? You know, it's an absolute it's it's ridiculous. Listen, when you when it's over. I'm not that upset about Derrick Henry. Yeah, I was just getting caught up in what he said, and I think a lot of people were. If you would have said, hey, listen, we're not going to be players first couple days. We do need to, you know, make some moves. 
And we're going to get to it, but they just, everybody chill. What kills All right? you, here's what kills you is. I know you like them. No, to, you, you yeah, know, they like to be the, the, talked the, about. Don't, Fucking don't bullshit. say we have interest in um, anybody. Eric Henry or What's up, Marcus Blackman? And, 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 and then put it at, at our price. Of course you do. Hell, I got an interest in a Maserati if I can get it for $20,000, <laughs> too. But I ain't going to be able to get that Maserati <laughs> yeah. for $20,000. Hell, yeah, I got interest in that. Of course I do, but don't 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 make it. I know, I, know. I but that's what made it worse because that you're doing something that you're not yeah. going to do because that's. I exactly think they could be creative. I, I'm actually more excited to go if we get a couple of the guys that I want in in the draft as far as running back. But the problem lies in you can't, you can't, you have to. Look, and they will, people. They will go out and get a couple of bodies. They will get. Oh, don't laugh bodies. at me. They're gonna get Eric Kendricks most likely, or Bobby Wagner. Probably Eric Kendricks. Maybe both of them. They're gonna be on the cheap, right? They're gonna go out and get a defensive lineman, okay? A DJ Reader, whoever that is. They'll they'll get one. Now I don't I don't know if you. Heard the latest news. Uh, I heard it from Brian Broadus. He said he talked to somebody in the building, and they said that Mozzie is already putting weight back on to, to be a one technique. So that was a orchestrated by it's none really other than Dan one. Quinn. Okay. So Mozzie Smith's putting the weight well, that on. Goes, so That goes back to what – and I, I'm not mad at Dan Quinn. Dan Quinn had a philosophy where his whole thing was – we are going to disrupt the quarterback. We are going to get to him. And if the Cowboys were a team that always had a lead, then you were great. But once teams yes, got we do, there Vinny. and were able to run the football, then boom. That's where your problem land because all of your guys were underside. David Wiley, what's going on, Mark, in game time? David. What's got- up, David? You ready for the draft or what, my man? It's getting close. We're six. We're inside six weeks. We're right at six weeks. Yeah, we need to start getting that money together on that thing. Too, well, here. I got the rental car rental, so we'll okay, have to. Well, we'll talk about it. We we'll look. We'll come up with a game plan. Uh, I was talking with. Uh, well, I'll the subtract the one day that I'm using the car because you know I got to get it a day early. But we'll talk about all that, and then you could just add it. I'll, we'll, we'll divide it, and then we'll. Add it to the room. That's all, and then I'll give you whatever you need. Yeah. But yeah, I'm looking forward to that, David. I mean, it'll be fun. Um, I'm gonna do a, our first drawing here for somebody. Yeah, I got my lottery wheel. I just don't have any shirts or nothing to give away. So oh shit! I gotta start. Okay, sorry, David. You've won enough. <laughs> yeah. David, uh, here David we go. Lottery You're gonna piss wheel. off another okay. cousin. Yeah, he earned that shit. Shh. Uh, Mark, well, David knows he'll just Quinn, go take one when he goes to your house. Well, here's the thing. Um, Quinn did the best he could with what he had. The Cowboys weren't going to go all in. L Boogie. L Boogie is the winner. Um, and I'm going to grab Dak Prescott thing. is the best QB in the NFC. Fuse 3, what's up, buddy? I haven't seen you in a while. Let me get to my chat real quick. Michael Wright um, says he likes my guess. He's very smart. A. Well, then sign up for my channel, Mike. Come on, bro. Okay. So I'm actually rolling here. I'm actually. Uh, Ruben I, Walls. I'm up to. I don't know what I'm up to. Walls. What the hell am I up to? Let's see. I am up to. YouTube oh. Studio. I'm up to 1813. Dang so, it. you know, for me, that's good. Uh, we're closing in on two grand. Mark said, ah, this was a couple weeks ago. Ah, maybe you can get to two grand now. It's maybe you can get to 2,500. Uh, well, <laughs> He's always pushing the bar. Good for him, you know man. What? I Good tell for you what. him. It's feast time because people are enjoying um, the misery of the Cowboys. See, when things yeah. are good for the Cowboys, people don't show up. Me too, oh, David. Man. I'm mad at Quinn, FM. <laughs> uh, Dan Quinn pisses me off. I don't blame Dan Quinn for. Uh, for leaving, I blame him for. Listen, this is how it was. He didn't have that dynamic piece until Micah Parsons came along, but we still were were thin in a lot of areas. We were doing it with not all pro guys. When we're holding on to, to like Jonathan Hankins, like oh my god, we need to get Hankins back. That's Hankins is 
He's holding. Hankins is a veteran minimum type of guy. So to, for, for us to hold out all that for him tells you what kind of talent we had. And I disagree with a lot of people. I was watching, I was listening to and, uh, like one of the shows on DallasCowboys.com, and they were like, oh, uh, John Machado was like, oh, well, uh, yeah, this team has had a lot of talent. They've been loaded. And I'm like, uh, okay. okay. And then he goes, uh, you can't expect, last year was their all-in year. I'm like, look I, at their record against playoff teams. It was below uh, 500. What are you looking at that I'm not? I'm not saying they're not talented. Right, Mark? I'm not saying they're not talented, obviously. I'm, okay, they're, but they're, when they match it up against the big boys. You're not the same. Now, you're I mean, not the same. The excuse, I mean, I don't know what it was with Green Bay. I still think that they went in there and figured we've got a 16 game win streak. They relaxed because, you know, we got the number two seed and they got punked. Okay. That can happen. But for the most part, what they were doing on their defense without having linebackers, I'm sorry. You can say it's Dak Prescott's fault. When you have a 207-pound running back, I mean, excuse me, linebacker, and you've got the opposition saying, you got a DB at linebacker, we were going to run it. You know, I don't want to throw against that defense because you get picked off. But with that linebacker right there, we knew we could run the football. So, yeah, there's that. It's always a blowout. And it, it is always below. Well, no, we, we do. I mean, we did beat the Lions in there. So don't say it's only those. We have some good games. We beat the Seahawks. But for the most yeah, part. Yeah, I'm not saying it's horrible. I'm saying it's not what. Don't act like uh, that was all in. That That's you doing your job. I mean. All in. I don't know. Signing a single free agent. That's yeah, having dog linebackers. Dog. I mean, like I said, you lost Overshone in the preseason, people, and you hung your hat on a bunch of people that you didn't even feel well, not uh, good enough to not expose them on our practice squad. But they, they all got plucked, Devin Harper and such. And we went in with uh, Damone Clark, who had a so so year last year. We were excited about him, but we didn't really know. Mm -hmm. And a often injured Leighton Vanderesh. So, you know, what are we expecting here? That's well, my thing. What so were we somebody expecting? Somebody asked, uh, Derek Henry has officially signed with the Baltimore Ravens. Yes. Well, okay. tomorrow, but. Well, I mean, he, he's, yeah, they, they've got the deal. Yeah, he's so gone. Mixon was traded to the Texans. Um, Washington is going to get Gallimore next. Stay tuned. Go Commanders. What's up, Yassine? Uh, good luck. Yeah, they're, they're trying. But, you know, here's the thing, though. I, I mean, as good as. I'm going to say Dorrance Armstrong played better than up, Jimbo's son? he was going to be. Okay, But I still think that a lot of that was because of the way Dallas Cowboys defense was. Having Micah Parsons getting doubled and triple teamed helped his career. So, you know, I look at Dante Fowler and I look at Dorrance Armstrong. They were rotated. They were yeah. uh, full-time yeah. starters. And when you're able to do that, you're able to really get your motor going. So we'll see how they rotate, of course, and that probably will be Dan Quinn rotating him again um, in the same fashion. But I'm not going to say those are lights-out players. And $15 million for Dorrance Armstrong is a lot of money. It is. It's a lot of money. A lot of money. But that's what happens when you have a lot of money. You knew they were going to do this, but I am not that. Mm -hmm. I'm not that worked up about it. Um, Washington can have them all. I like I could care less. Uh, you know, they're going to be better, but they're going to have a rookie quarterback. They'll be a little more exciting. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, all right. But you know, I think that uh, yeah, we all get emotional yesterday, but we just need to see something happen soon. We need to get beyond these first couple of days. I see a lot of people in the chat mm -hmm. saying it's not that bad. Uh, which is good. You know, the Cowboys appreciate you, I'm sure. <laughs> it's just frustrating that we got to continually. What's up, Brian Harding? Oh, thank you so much, Brian Harding. Um, you know, that we continually are being, being sold one thing. Like we have an analogy in my chat here where it's like, you know, it's like a chicken brat. It's like a it's like a like a cooked uh, chicken, you know. And you cook the chicken, or I'll smoke a turkey, and I'll start 
like dinner will be served and I'll look over and all the good shit's picked off, man. And I'm sitting here weeding through the like, you know, they don't even save you the big all, piece of chicken. <laughs> yeah, You know what I'm saying? It's like, that's where we're at here. All the good shit's picked. Now, the good shit, that shit is also you can get some gems, though, if you, you know, in the dark meat. Pause. You can get some nice, moist gems if you just look hard enough. So uh, it is what it is, people. Uh, I keep hearing Eagles are done. They got and went and signed Devontae Parker for one year. Okay, he's been done for multiple years. I could care less about that. I really could. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Kevin Lefford in Mark's chat. If the Joneses way right, why aren't the others following? If the Joneses way is right. Oh, I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, um, yeah, the Cowboys were the very last team to make a move. And we mm-hmm. re-signed our long snapper. So there's that. For one year, better minimum with a with a, they guaranteed like a half of the salary. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we but but he, like we needed him back. He was he was very good, moist. Oh, <laughs> Shane Baker, what's the matter, Mark? Okay, so maybe okay. Let, let me try and let me try <laughs> he looks and be, down. No, no, I, I am down, man. I, you know, I am I, too. I, I but sat, it is I what sat it out is. On the porch swing out there. And just swinging and just thinking what, you know, about the Cowboys. You know, I've, I've always felt like we've been close. That just a couple of pieces, just a couple of pieces, not bottom tier ones. You know, if you got a nasty defensive tackle or, or a stud linebacker, you know, and or a great running back, if you did just those three moves and then went to the draft, I'd be happy as shit. Now, mm-hmm. maybe, maybe just maybe. The Cowboys were right not to overspend on running backs because this was the polar opposite of last year. Last year, you couldn't give running backs away. This year, everybody went crazy and realized running is important. And they are recognizing that they do need to draft a young guy. And we know that running backs, in the grand scheme of things, it's better to have a young guy for the first couple of years and let him go than it is having an aging back. Yeah. So yeah. that may be the case. And it may be that they're looking here and letting the dust clear, and then they jump in and start trying to do some things with maybe the second tier types of guys. Like you said, maybe, you know, Bobby Wagner hasn't signed with anybody. Daniel Hunter hasn't signed with anybody that maybe that relationship with Daniel uh, Hunter with uh, um, Mike Zimmer, that maybe there's going to be something there. Maybe they're going to say, this is going to be, we're going to do one big signing. If they were to do that and then go into free, I mean, into the draft and go, I'd be okay. Because then you got a running back. You got an edge rusher to go, you know, bookend with, with, um, Micah Parsons, and you can look at linebackers and so on. Uh, but if they do nothing, then yeah, bro, bro. Well, Daniel Hunter's still out there. I don't know how how many of these guys. I don't think you know, pretty much anybody on this list we would be in. But the top ten free agents left are Daniel Hunter, Calvin Ridley, Tyron Smith is a number three overall. Free agent left. Justin Simmons, safety, basically, in the box, linebacker. Doesn't fit our scheme, I don't believe. Chase Young, edge. Josh Reynolds, Jadavian Clowney. I don't even think Clowney played last year. Jeremy Chin, Kyle Duggar, and Kevin Zeitler, guard Raven. So that's the best that you have left. Mm -hmm. Um, But um, there's a lot of interior linebacker and linebackers that are out there um, that have not get signed. And we will get some people. We need to fill out our roster before you draft. They will do that. Am I happy? Of course not, because it seems like we're always in this position. Other teams are flipping switches, risking a little bit of cap problems if it doesn't go well, and then rebuilding. That's what I don't understand about this whole situation. The one thing that Dallas does do, for the most part, is draft. And they put a lot of work and resources to their draft. So why wouldn't you want to go all in and then every fifth year or so have to reload? You know, I, 
I understand you don't want to do that because you want to stay good, but you're not winning anything. Well, I'm going to think about this for a second. Okay, so. Simmons is in Philly. Yeah, I, I guess he fits your, maybe he fits your defense better. I mean, he's, he, he's okay. Going Thanks, into, Elena. Going into um, Derrick Henry, <clears throat> we only had $2.2 million. Let's put it that way. The Ravens signed Derrick Henry, but you know that they are minus $180,000. So they were actually in worse cap shape than we were, and we'll find a way to make that deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You remember yeah. when New Orleans was $73 million over the cap? They're right there, Who? right behind New Orleans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. were 73 yeah, million. Yeah, New Orleans. What's up, Andrew Martinez? Here's the thing. They right now are only a million dollars behind us. So there are ways of getting money if you really and truly want to do something. But I, I think I, people get caught up with names. Um, it really, I think they do. Um, it, it is what it is. I mean, you give me a Joe Mixon or or something like that over a guy like Saquon Barkley. You get him a lot cheaper. Does the same stuff. I don't know. That's just me personally. Uh, I'm surprised the Eagles spent that kind of money for running back because they're the ones that started the. The whole, you know, we don't spend a lot money. of money for running yeah. backs. So I was I kind of surprised at that, but I think they are in desperate the mode. They're trying to make everybody happy in Philly. And again, shout out to them. At least they're shooting their shot. You know, they're taking their, they're doing what they need to do, uh, whether I agree with it or not. Um, yeah, I don't like uh, Simmons or Chin, uh, the safety. So I, I'm fine right now. Uh, we just need to get a defensive lineman, a linebacker in here, and go draft. That's what we need to get. We'll see what's uh, the Neil Hunter. Who has money that's out there that could afford him? <laughs> well, you know, I mean, we're, we have to actually we're, see how all these numbers shake out on the cap because we're all going by. Uh, yeah, it's kind of tough. Yeah. Um, how much better is Barkley from Swift? Good point right there. I will say that he's not more, much. I will say he's more dynamic and she can probably yes. be more in the passing game and stuff. But again, Barkley has a tendency to wear down. And this is a three year deal. If this thing ends up being that he doesn't last, you know, the Eagles, they've got a ticking time bomb between Hertz contract and now this one and some other ones. That at some point they are gonna have to blow everything up. And if Hertz ends up being not that guy this year and they want to move on from him. You're going to see a cap hit that makes Russell Wilson's look kind of, kind of uh, not so bad. Mark avoids Dak's uh, case; it's brushed off. Uh, fans of Cowboys, what am I brushing off? He's suing somebody else for defamation. He's not getting sued. Now let's let's. let's now he does that. have a statement out there, and there's nothing wrong with this. This was from 2017, people. Yeah. And he said it was a consensual relationship. And then, and then she's trying you know, to support him for $100 million. This was, yeah, what was alarming is you normally don't start a, he got a legal, his attorney's got a legal letter. Well, Mark, you had it on your channel. I was, or no, I don't know. I, no, I was listening to one of the uh, 105.3, the fan. Uh, they had uh, the guy from Pro Football Talk, and they were talking about it. Do you know the Dak Prescott story on day one of free agency was their most clicked, uh, you know, news reel on uh, Pro Football Talk was the Dak Prescott $100 million lawsuit. On day one of free agency, when the Eagles are signing Barkley and the the number one most popular thing that was clicked was the Dak Prescott. That, that's what Dallas is. Dallas is, they control the media. It sucks in a way because you want them to do other things. But, you know, she started out with a $100 million lawsuit from jump. That's not what normally happens. Well, of course, uh, when you put out those big numbers and you settle out of court, you know, for a lot less, you know, that, that, that scare tactic, you know, yeah. speak, it's kind of like when, when I was hit by a dump truck and I had banks and associates and all that, they were like, Oh, you don't, I'm like, I'm not that bad. My back's a little sore. He's like, you don't know how, how bad a shape you are, are actually in. You know, this could be a hundred million dollar suit and this, that, and the other. And I'm like, really? And it's like, okay. In the end, it ended up being $6,000, but you mm. know, that they settled for. So you put out a number out there that is high 
to try and get them to negotiate, and then you'll be good. Cowboys have Micah, CD, Bland, Tyler, and Jake coming off up next off season. Well, here's the problem that you know uh, Brian Broaddus was talking about, and this all goes back to Stephen Jones when he structured these contracts and flipped switches. What you don't want is to have multiple contracts up at the same time, and the Cowboys did it to themselves by how long they structure the deals when they, you have to, that's, I don't think Stephen Jones can walk, talk and chew gum at the same time, because I think he has an issue. All these contracts are coming up at the same time. You can't have it. You need to, it needs to be a nice rhythm to your contracts. And that comes from not wanting to pay your guys and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting, being put in a position to have to give a contract, you know, I mean, it's it's this it's disappointing how he works the cap like a magician jimbo um he does i don't think he drafts all that great you know but um he has a lot of bullets this year mm -hmm. mark looks so damn salty when game time talks about the eagles <laughs> no i was actually reading because i i hadn't uh, yeah i know I've mark he wasn't i mean it was i like saying it because i it's it's the truth. Now, that being said, I'm a Cowboy fan. I hope we beat the hell out of them. You know, but again, I'm going to call it how I see it. CD, uh, CD's agent said he was not going to sign until Jefferson. That comes from good drafting. Yeah. Yep. Dan Saleo Ooh. talks out of both sides of his mouth. Uh, I like Dan Saleo, but he's not the end-all, be-all. None of us are. We all have our own opinions, and you'll agree with some and not agree with others. You know, that's what makes it cool, I think. g -Lo, you are asking the exact same question that um, Philly 500 did, and that is why didn't the Cowboys restructure Dak Prescott's contract? Well, they have restructured it many times in the past, and here's the thing. Um, right now, the voidable year, they have $36 million in dead money. So no matter what, you got 59 this year and you got 36 mm -hmm. next year. However you work it, if you want to take $20 million of it this year and kick it the next year, you're still paying the same amount of money. So, um, again, I think this is where the Cowboys – are trying th th this is my, my true take Brian and you tell me if I'm crazy what the Cowboys truly are trying to do is get a leg up on Dak Prescott negotiation you know basically Todd France has already let him know we want a 60 million dollar a year deal we want 60 million and when you look at how the money has gone up each year because if you look at the year before we had Aaron Rodgers at 50 million now Joe Burrow's at 55. You know, before that, it was, you know, the $40 million mark was it before that. Before that, it was the 35 and the 30, so on. So that's kind of the natural progression. I hear you, Oscar. So what the Cowboys are trying to do is they're trying to tell you that there's no money to sign anybody, which is the same thing they did before. When Dak Prescott signed his deal before, they got rid of Johnny. Amari Cooper because, well, there's no money to pay. There's only money. one pie. Yeah. There's so only one what they're pie. trying to do with the guys from the fan is say, you know, we'd rather have Baker Mayfield at, you know, thirty five million or Kirk Cousins at forty five and you know, then we'd have money to go ahead and spend on other. They're going to sell a Dak Prescott and make him the fall guy and the reason why. If they were going to do stuff, as Jerry said, you know, well, we don't have to sign Dak. Why are you talking about mm. waiting till August to sign him? What is the advantage of waiting till August? You think it's going to cost know. less? No, it's going to cost more. Now. Yeah, now, yeah. This is where you, you you say, "Sorry, Jerry Jones, you're full of shit." I was it, actually encouraged when they interviewed Dak at Troy Aikman's Cancer Foundation, uh, you know, gathering because he sounded like he knew that they had talked. He knew that they needed to extend out. To help the team, that's when they asked Dak about. He's curious to see what all in was. Well, mm -hmm. again, you know, we're going to the draft. We're going to see. I'm hoping that they're going to trade some of those next year's picks and uh, to move up this year. Just, I would hope that they would. We're we're in for what three compensatory picks right now? Why they Alejandro Garibay. 
Uh, Garibay, I don't know. Why they was let us down and never get good players. Alejandro, um, that, that's a good question. They want to draft, man. Then they, for the most part, they're a hell of a drafting team. Last year, I mean, they don't, they're not, listen, the draft is not an exact science. That's my issue with the whole, we're going all in in the draft. We know starting out that the draft is not an exact science. Different players progress at different stages. I have no doubt they're going to get a day one starter, round one for the offensive line. None. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm hoping we could dr- drop down a few spots and grab another top 100 pick. And, you know, I think we're good. I think we got Brock Hoffman, who can be our center. I really do. But it's not sexy. And I, I know people want sexy, but See, here's Brock Hoffman, okay. you know, is a beast. So, and he's the one on the sideline that was firing up when he was filling in for Biotis. He was the one in the middle of the circle. He's a, he's got a big upside. They love Brock Hoffman. Not that they wouldn't draft a, a guy who's rated really, really high, but he's an option early on. If they even if they draft a rookie. But anyway, go ahead. Here, you know, somebody said, "Do y'all really think the Dax worth sixty million? Here's the thing. Yeah, I saw that. Well, here's the thing that 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 you have to understand is hell you really no. Need, you need oh, to sorry. look at it by the percentages, okay? Because sixty million this year, with the amount of money that the cap went up, is really like fifty three last year. Okay. Yeah. So when you start, to, you know, when you think about when Kurt Cousins or, or when Dak got his forty million, we're still talking about the same percentage of what the cap was, because the yeah. cap then was one hundred eighty two million. So one hundred eighty two million dollars, and you're getting forty. Or you're getting sixty at two hundred fifty-five. There's seventy-eight million dollars. No, sorry. There's eighty-five million dollars more money in there. So you're still taking the same piece of the pie at that number. So if you're saying Joe Burrow right now looks like a bargain because the cap will go to fifty-five, come next right. year. You're going to be looking at guys getting like 65, maybe even a 70, because the salary cap going up like it did this year, it's not going down. They're doing games in Brazil. You've got more uh, streaming platforms that are doing games, including playoff games. Gambling is blowing the fuck up, okay? And that's just straight royalty. And so as the money continues to go up, they're talking about, actually, let me look in here, because this is, this is where it's funny. The projections for this year's cap were originally going to be 42. It comes out to 255. If we look at the projections right now for um, 2025, they're only saying 260. You're going to tell me that the cap's only going to go up by 5 million when it's on average goes up by 20? Yeah, I'm not. I don't know what it's going. I did hear today that they're not expecting it to be very high next year. Yeah, but well, again, we'll I don't know. But I could be by wrong. 2027, even a, a conservative numbers wise, they've got the base salary cap at 315 million. And so, that's not taken into account, Mark. If they add an 18th game, like they're already talking, they're talking about, about doing, right. doing or that's going to be a be a bring up. Yeah, yeah and exactly. That's what I'm saying. So, that if Rhonda, you say 60 million right now, two years from now, that's going to be a bargain. And the problem is, is if you want to be mad about Dak Prescott's contract, be bad at the Joneses for not dealing with this sooner. Ooh. You had all season. Well, that's you the problem. We wait. season yeah. to deal with this. You know, maybe you could have gotten Dak for 55, you know, before Joe Burrow got his. In which case now, yeah. well, we're not dealing with this. We got cap relief and we're going to be in great place down the road. I'm not arguing with anybody over Dak. Dak Prescott is a really good quarterback. Now, again, this whole team struggles in the playoffs. So it's not, you you know, uh, you can't sit here and say Dak Prescott. When Dak's been healthy, he's been elite. But again, it's a team football game. I always go back to when the Eagles fans want to troll me. I'll say, well, okay, Jalen Hurts is had a subpar year two out of his last three years. We all know he's a real good quarterback. Why was that? Well, okay. 
His defense sucked. His offensive play calling stunk. You know, it's like, again, people can have their opinion, but he's a hell of a quarterback. Whether he's here long term, I don't know. I do know that the Cowboys want him here, but they like to negotiate in the media. And I think the Tad Prescotts and I think Micah's uncle, they don't help the situation. But I really don't think the Cowboys could give two shits what they say. They're going to do what they're going to do. Every time I hear them talk, they want Dak back. But I believe they're trying to get him for around the $55 million mark. And I don't know that he's going to do that. He might. I mean, I was kind of surprised with the with the quarterback salaries over the last couple of days. You can say what you want about Kirk Cousins, but that's his comp as far as a lot of different stats. People want to say he's the black Kirk Cousins. Okay, so well, so let me let me ask this for, for people out there that are trashing back. So Russell Wilson's deal currently is forty nine million, right? Jalen Hurts Let's got, ride. J, Jalen Hurts got his deal at fifty one, right? Fifty one this past year. Would you take Jalen Hurts wow. over Dak Prescott? Oh, would I take who? I'm sorry. Jalen Hurts over Dak Prescott? Um, I don't think so. No, okay. I wouldn't. Justin Herbert's at 52 and a half. Would uh, you take Justin Herbert over Dak Prescott? That's I might because he's younger. That's all. I'm not saying he's a better now. He's not as good as him now. Okay. Right, Elaine at fifty five, I think is fair. All right, then you got Joe Burrow's at fifty five, and the problem with Joe Burrow is he's missed uh, two seasons in his career with injuries. Yeah, and so you I know. now have to start worrying about him. I like injuries. Joe Burrow though. Now, Me he's personally, two hundred nineteen million fully guaranteed, mm. fifty five million a year. Now you got Deshaun Watson who. I haven't heard of them doing anything with his contract, although there's not a lot you can do with it because he is guaranteed money. He's a $62 million hit. Yeah, now that's ridiculous. That you you got to remember everybody, everybody in the world hated Deshaun Watson's agents uh, and the Cleveland Browns for doing what they did. They fully guaranteed, what was it, $230 million? Is that what that was? Something like that? You know, the, the um, Cousins was fully guaranteed at, you know, three years. And yeah, but, like but they gave million. Deshaun way over the top money because he had no intentions. Remember, he had the no trade clause? Yeah. He wasn't going to Cleveland mm -hmm. unless they did this. So, well, here's um, the thing. He is 63.97 cap hit this year. 22.1%. Yeah, and that's bad. That's and, a bad. And, but, but check I, this out. I, He's the same thing the next three years. But you cannot use that as a marketing point. Well, that's better than him. That's a horrible contract. That's horrible. You can't use that number. He is too. He got it. If they were to cut him this year, it's a $200 million hit. Yeah, that's, if it's after that's next why. Year, it's 136. They're regretting that every day. They just went out and signed a quarterback today, too. Yeah. And they've got uh, 63. But nobody's talking about that deal, okay? Now, yeah, that deal was horrendous, and everybody hates that deal. But you know what's crazy? Dimbo's son, again, don't get but, but upset here, when I said I never said he's regressing. I said he, has, he, he had a down year. I live in the area, Jimbo, son. I live in the area. All right. They, I want you to think he's about on this, the, He's on the hot seat. I want you to think about this for a second, though. Here we go. So Cleveland is saddled by a $63.7 million cap hit for the next three years for Deshaun Watson. That's fully guaranteed that they can't do shit about, right? How is it that they're able to trade for Jerry Judy, right? Get another player. Be able to keep people like, you know, Amari Cooper on their roster, right? Have guys like Miles Garrett and pay them and still have $4 million more than we do on the cap. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? You see, I, I, we are the wealthiest franchise in all of the world of any sport by a couple of billion dollars. We never sign any big name free agents, yet every year we have money problems. 
This is where the Cowboys need to say, how is it that the Cleveland Browns can fuck up and pay their quarterback $63 million fully guaranteed and still have more money than we do? How is because it, how is it cap boy the, the way the, they the did Eagles, their contract? How is the Eagles can mess up with Carson Wentz and take a thirty-four million dollar dead hit? Because Howie Roseman knows how to, to end up bringing in all kinds of players and go to a Super Bowl. And still, Howie Roseman will address it, pay it, and it's all staggered. Not all their contracts are coming off the books at the same time, where they have to re up these people. We got. Like, we should have addressed Dak Prescott last year. We didn't have to Thank let you. it wait, you know? So, you know, all and this stuff, do? and he's we not the only waiting. one. We're going to wait on – now we're going to wait. Now we're going to wait on CD because he wants to let Justin Jefferson get his – okay, so what's it say? You're going to beat Justin Jefferson because of maybe his stats in one year. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to – yeah, the longer they wait on Dak Prescott, you know, who, uh, who – I mean, who needs to be paid? Uh, who's it? Josh Allen? Is that the guy who needs to be paid? Who like who's up for a contract? It's Josh, right? Well, it'll be actually Pat Mahomes will be, uh, Trevor Lawrence will be. Uh, mm. They'll probably well, that pick's not looking very good at this point. They just restructured Josh Allen's, and and it's funny because people say, "Oh, Josh Allen, he's a team player because he gave money back." It's like no, you don't even know how it works. Restructuring just means you're moving money down the road. It's not giving money back. Mark, you're comparing yeah. a professional GM. Um, Eric Green, uh, or E. Green, shout out to you. I said Eric because Eric Green was actually a um, quarterback we had at JMU. Cowboys money is invested in deals differently than other times. For example, high-risk policy. Okay. Well, Prescott's contract will hold Cowboys' hands down. Um. What's up, Michelle C? Mark, can you explain until you're blue in the face? None of the fans listen. Front office full of sh shit. Asman and Jerry and Steven eating pinks on the yacht? Probably not, man. They probably wouldn't go anywhere near pinks. Cody Pearson, Mark always hating on Josh Allen. <laughs> no, he didn't say nothing about Josh Allen. I saw, I mean, I brought him up. Wow, look at E. Green in the house. Um, I agree, Walker Wade, I agree that the quarterback shouldn't take up 30% of your cap. I agree with that. Now, here's what's funny, though. Okay, let's take, I need your help, brother. The only way to fix the Cowboys is to boycott the Cowboys. If we stop buying jerseys and tickets, it'll affect their profits, and we will be a better team uh, <laughs> together then. Uh, the problem is, is they can, out, they can wait us out. They got billions, bro, and there's revenue sharing, and... Uh, I'm sorry. We're we're not even a drop in the bucket. Um, Levante David just re-signed with I the Bucks, one year deal, nine mil. Okay. So he Let, he's gone. Let's take this. Daniel Hunter signs a two year, forty nine million dollar contract. Did you see that with, you, with the Colts or no? No, with the Texans, two years, forty nine million. Because I just saw Breaking an hour news. ago, Colts have had talks with Daniel Hunter. Daniel Hunter signing two-year, forty-nine million dollar with the Texans. That's definitely out go. of our price range. Yeah. Okay. Here's he the was the number one free agent out there. So here's what I want you guys to understand. See, the Cowboys' problem is the Joneses don't know what they're doing with their contracts. Let's Jeremy take, Chin let's headed to Washington. Jalen Hurts, who got a fifty-one million dollar a year contract, two hundred and fifty-five million. Total money, okay? You know what his cap number was for last year, guys? After signing a $255 million contract? $6 million. Do you know what his cap hit is this year? $13 million. Do you know what it is next year? $25 million. Mm. Do you know what it is in 2026? $31 million. Do you know what it wow. is in 2027? $41 yes, Corey. million. Dollars. Okay? That's one. Let's go to another one. Let's take Joe Burrow, who's getting paid $55 million a year with a contract worth $275 million. Okay? 
His cap number last year was $19 million. Mind you, he didn't play much last year and didn't do well when he did. This year's cap number is $29 million. His cap number next year is 46. His cap number in 2026 is 48. Hmm. That's not so bad, is it? Let's take Justin Herbert's contract, who's getting $52 million a year. His number last year, $8 million in the first year of the deal. His, deal, his contract number this year, $19 million. It does get up to 37 in 2025 and 46 in 2026, but doesn't hit 58 until 2027. So when you guys go through and say, Dak is sucking up all the money, Dak's contract was only for $160 million. That was it. We're talking about mm. deals that are $100 million more that don't have a cap number that hits $30 million for the next couple of years. So when you look at this, don't look at it because of Dax Prescott's contract because he put a gun to their head because they waited till the last minute and didn't know how to structure a contract. That's not his fault. Any more than if you go to the car dealership and you see the sticker price on the window and you pay the sticker price and then pay an extra thousand dollars for window, uh, I mean, excuse me, wheel locks and undercarriage paint or whatever. That's not the dealership's fault. That's you for going out there and, and signing that freaking contract that they made. So don't give me this thing, well, Dak's got to go. Well, you know who's got to go? <clears throat> it's Catboy, though, how he's making these damn contracts that are... It's a lot of money, seen. Nike 3. That's what you have to this, look at. Looking at what we have available here, people, uh, again, running back, um, we're going to draft one, okay? We're going to draft one. Uh, it's, uh, hopefully it's Trey. There's... Three guys I would love and whatever. We'll deal with that another night. But um, we're going to get one. But J.K. Dobbins is out there. Now, J.K. Dobbins is a guy who's coming off a knee. Uh, fits, but I mean, he's only 25 years old. And when he's healthy, he's really, really good. Um, so that's about it. You got J.K. Dobbins, A.J. Dillon, I went no part of, and Dante Foreman. And Clyde Edwards Alaire. But if you could get a J.K. Dobbins for a one year, prove it, I'm healthy guy, I would be in on a J.K. Dobbins and draft a guy. He's a very electric running back out of Baltimore who obviously they're not in the market. Get him on a one year right up Dallas's alley and draft a guy. I'll be happy with that. J.K. Dobbins is really good. He just had the knee injury. We don't, you know, just. Going down everything else, offensive tackle, uh, we're not going to use free agency. There's a slight chance that Tyron is back, but I don't necessarily, you know, there, I'm not going to close that door, but he would have to make our number, and I don't think that's going to happen. Well, it might be that it, the numbers that he's looking for might not be there. Yeah. Center, we want... We don't want Connor Williams. You got Connor Shelton, Evan Brown, Nick Gates. We're getting our center in a draft. There's any number of guys. There's three or four different guys that we could get. Again, we're probably going to go with Brock Hoffman anyway and draft one. I'm fine with that. Brock Hoffman is just as good as Biotish. I'm telling you. Guard, we don't need guard. Uh, we may draft, but we're not. Sure as hell, we're not going to go into free agency and get a guard. Interior defensive line. Let's. This is where we talk. The highest rated guy left is DJ Reader, the guy I liked. We got Sheldon Rankins. We got uh, Hattart. You got Quentin Jefferson. Um, that's really about it. You got Puna Ford, but I'm not a big Puna Ford guy. Solomon Thomas. Uh, Jonathan Hankins down the list. Um, but yes, we still got DJ Reader, Sheldon Rankin. So there are guys. Reader is the guy that I've been talking about. He's not a perfect player, but I think he would fit well. Um, edge defender, Daniel Hunter, you say he's gone, right? You got Jadavian Clowney and Chase Young, Carl Lawson, Derek Barnett. No, thank you. So basically, Dante Fowler is gone, right? Yeah. So, 
I know they like the Manuel Agba coming out of the draft. He's way down. He's free. Maybe you bring him in as a body, um, but you're not really going to get edge in free agency. You want to give Sam Williams some time. Mm -hmm. Linebacker, here we go. Bobby Wagner, Jerome Baker, Devin White. Unless, is he the one that just signed? Mm -hmm. Was was that the one that just signed Devin White? Is that what I said? Well, let me go, let me so. see. Somebody just signed. Oh, no, Levante David just signed. So Devin White is still out there. Bobby Wagner, Jerome Baker, Willie Gay, uh, Zach Cunningham, uh, Shaq Leonard's out there. <laughs> uh, so basically, Bobby Wagner, uh, Eric Hendricks, that's who you're looking at. Um, we're not going to be doing anything with corner unless it's our guy, Jordan Lewis. And, um, what's his name? Stefan Gilmore. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to bring Gilmore back. Hopefully, you know, I, it is what it is. We're going to be in on the draft. That's, that's what, you know, what we're going to do. Yeah, we're going to have to. In which case, we need to come up with some more draft picks. Yes. We're definitely going to need to come up with some draft picks. Um, one thing that's kind of surprised me is um, that there's no market really for uh, Justin Fields. Yeah. Yeah. That you know, they thought that oh man, we're you know we're going to be in the driver's seat here. That market dried up real quick. I mean, you got uh, Sam Darnold, of course, going to uh, Minnesota. It's, how, how'd you like to be Justin Jefferson, knowing that's going to? But I don't know that he's going to be handed the keys. You know, they still may. They're probably going to draft a guy right now. They're probably really going to reach and draft a guy at their draft spot. Mm-hmm. All right, so. so we've got none of the guys. Well, Bobby Wagner may be the only only guy we get. Oh, boy. DJ Reader, Bobby Wagner is what we need. Dobbins is worth a shot at running back. Yeah, Corey Pearson. I like J.K. Dobbins because he's only 25 coming back from a knee injury. You get him on the cheap on a prove-it year where he's he can sign a deal and go because we're going to draft a young one anyway. He's probably going to leave after this year, but give me a J.K. Dobbins rather than bring back Rico Dowdle, you know, okay. or Malik uh, Davis. So may give me maybe, maybe this is – okay, so l let me – That's right up their alley. Let me look at l – let me throw this. We out. can make a difference, Vinny. We we can. All right. L l I'm just reading the, the countersuit that may be coming here. So reading about the Dak Prescott lawsuit where they filed – defamation suit where the woman basically it said that he assaulted her in 2017 in the back of an SUV and that it's caused her to have to go to therapy and problems with her fiance and so on and that's why they were trying to settle out of court now their attorneys are hinting that they're going to have a suit that's going to be going back now Levi McLaren is kind of like the Cowboys fixer <laughs> Let's okay. sink it, Brad. All right, so he's like, you know, when, when Michael Irvin had his problems and stuff, Levi McLaren was the attorney there. Is right. it that the Cowboys are saying, we need the dust to clear from this thing before we sign Dak Prescott? Nah. I mean, you think, okay, hold on, but think about this, though. With Zeke Elliott's situation, there was friends of hers that basically said there was nothing there. There were, um, the NFL did their 103 page report, and the investigator said there was nothing there. But in the court of public opinion, you saw how it was with Zeke Elliott. You know, people today still say that he's a sexual predator and this, that, and the other, and still got suspended. The Cowboys, I, I'm, I'm just saying hypothetically. I, I'm, I'm trying to find No, I'm laughing at somebody in my chat. Oh, okay. <laughs> but it may be that the Cowboys are going to say, you know, let's let this thing clear before we do all of this. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I mean, I wouldn't think that has anything to do with it. Dak Prescott, anytime you see somebody come out as aggressive as he was in final 
a, a countersuit right away. You're basically saying to the NFL, come on and investigate. I got nothing to hide. It's not like they were trying to pay off the girl. No, absolutely not. This is a clear attempt. So, okay. again, sorry to say. Are you? Uh, uh, hang on one second. Um, I need to do the other one, too. Let me get that while you're doing it. Okay. Um, I, I don't know what's going on. Um, that, that's going to be, you, you know that that's going to be yeah. one of those things that, that it doesn't necessarily matter what the facts are. People are going to take it and they're going to use it and blow it up and make it a lot more. When you think about, um, remember when Mike Forello was talking about, uh, there might be a tape of Des Bryant that's 10 times worse than, um, Ray Rice. You know, that was yeah. all speculation and everything else. And that there was no tape. But in the court of public opinion, <laughs> that gets put out there. And um, <laughs> well, you're, you're, let me in. Rod or Rob, breaking news. Cowboys signed Cat Williams after seeing his 40-yard dash. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> uh, Patrick Green just went to the Steelers. Yeah, Marcus, we saw it. Yeah, it. Uh, I saw that because there's. I, I'm, I'm like, what was Cat Williams doing out on the field? Fucking Cat Williams. But we called it right. We called it. it all these teams are going to have money. We don't have money. It's just how we roll. Um, and this, it's. Just think about if the cap didn't go up as much as it did, Mark. How bad would it have been then? They would have had to have flipped more switches. Yeah. I mean, they're going to have to flip switches. Yeah, nobody cares. Des said it's a rebuild season. Short dog, very possible. Rebuild and still try and win. Um, I don't know how it's a rebuild when you win 12 games. Yeah, uh, no. I think when you have the talent that we have, it, let's see how the draft plays out. I don't necessarily hate that idea. You know, get rid of, I'm a static, like we get rid of Tyron Smith. I'm tired of, listen, he's a good, he's a great player when healthy. I'm tired of being beholden to him. I'm excited to give Sam Williams a shot and give him the reps. I'm excited to get our young wide receivers who I've been telling you, Jalen Brooks is the real deal. All right. I'm excited for that. I'm glad we're getting rid of Michael Gallo. Mm -hmm. Get the Jalen Tolbert more work. I'm happy with that. So a lot of this is good. Nobody we've lost yet. I'm upset about. We just haven't added it, anybody. If we bring back Gilmore and Hankins and maybe Jordan Lewis. Mm-hmm. You know, go out and get a defensive lineman and a linebacker. Like I've been saying, we're going to draft a linebacker. We have Overshone coming back. We have Damone Clark. How many linebackers do you need? I mean, don't forget the free agents. We always do well with the free agents after the draft. It's not as bad as people think. We just, our division got all the pieces, and that's why we're sitting there all, like, all pissy. But if me, I would have been more worried if the Eagles kept... Swift went out and got a Patrick Queen. You know, to me, that would have been scary. Yeah, yeah we've played Saquon every year. That's the real, you know, he just he doesn't scare me anymore. Um, you know, the edge rusher, he's a good player. I mean, I don't know much about him. He played for the Jets. I like Hassan Reddick. I don't know why we're trying to push him out the door, but. Fuck, you know. Okay, sorry, had to take care of that. Um, no, you're good. I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm, George, uh, Georgia gentleman. George, George. Oh, sorry. Our team is not quick fixes. We are, uh, we are a dynasty. Five Super Bowls, twelve five uh, win season, three years straight. We won the division. Maybe we need to show more enthusiasm. He'll be better with the Eagles mouse or potentially. Yes, I get it. But that's not act like, you know, as, as Cowboy fans, we're not really worried about Sa you know, Saquon. We're just not. Yeah, we've, Saquon has never had big games against us. Hence 
the record we've had against the Giants over the years. Yeah, I mean, that's all we're saying. Uh, hey, Mouse, you right. guys played it. You guys are fishing in the big boy pond. We're in the little, I don't know if you saw my analogy, Mark. You know, we we wait until all the big fish are caught, and then we starve the little fish, right? And then we just drop a hook in there. We're going to get one. We're going to get a couple little fish. Okay. Because. So, yeah. So Game Face, Go ahead. What's up? Game Face Gaming says, Dez used to curse Dak about and complain that they weren't on the same page till, uh Jerry got rid of him and saved money. Same thing with Amari Cooper. CD is the next you watch. He's already having problems with Dak and his mom, too. Now, slow down. Slow down. Rhonda's Lovely Sparks says, working for the DA, I've seen a lot of Dr. Jekylls and Mr. Hyde's. Well, that that could be true. Nobody knows what goes on behind closed doors. Um, we can't stop the run. We were right about that. Should have gotten rid of. Should have gotten rid of Henry. Or What's up, Sable. the Coven? Yo, game time. Wake up, all your Cowboys. Wake up. You're still on. I'm, they're on vacation. I worked all day, bro. I don't know how y'all do it, Brian. Lol. Mouse. It is what it is, man. Kid Cowboy, 55 mil. You wouldn't do 55? For who? No. For Dak? He's, uh, I, he's saying 55 mil L, you know, with a smiley face. Um, Jack right Meeker, we mil, just have to do our fun. deals with Dak and CD before we even start looking at cheap free agents. Well, what's up, man? Jack, we could. We don't even have to do that to sign some of these a cheaper free agents. There's all these different Ways the contracts. You know, let me ask you this. What if in the draft we give up a, a fourth next year for a Stefan Diggs? Well, I mean, would you be happy with that? I'd be more than ecstatic with that. If you got Stefan so, for a, a There's th a lot that still has to play out. So Dallas may yeah, earmark in some pieces. Who knows? And, and this is this is the thing that we may not know. That 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 there may be that. We have nothing. That's why we're so upset. Until I, 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 there's something, but, but meaning Dak know, or whatever. There, there yeah. may actually be a plan out there for, you know, like a Stefan or something. Yeah. Or, you know, like I was saying, Court and Sutton. I know you're not high on Court and Sutton. But there may be where they're having some discussions. And well, all of a sudden, boom, out of nowhere, they do something, which would be great. You know, I don't want them to come out and say, we're going to go ahead and do this, this, and this, and do it. And it costs them, you know, an arm and three legs. I just want you to do something. I agree, Reese the Beast. They'll find a way to do it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't hate Cortland Sutton. I don't. And he'll probably be good. But I'm just saying, I don't know what I'd want to give up for him. We need our draft pick. So what are we giving up? Well, listen, you know? was, for Judy was a fifth and a sixth. Yeah, I don't think he's as good as Judy. Okay. Well, if it's a six rounder, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I would do that. We got two of them. Right. So, you know, here's the thing you got to look at um, is Stefan Gilmore and Brandon Cooks, they ended up being definitely positive. That should make you realize and say, okay, if we target some guys that we need in places, you know, let's do that and bring in some extra talent. That actually worked. Hmm. Okay. Dallas is like bu the buzzer. They wait until the prey to, is dead and then get the scraps. <laughs> Thanks, Malik. We're getting the scraps. What you all think about Clyde Edwards Alaire would cost us? Uh, probably four mil, if that. He won't get as much as maybe two something. Like I said we can, we'll get somebody. I like my uh, plan with J.K. Dobbins. And draft a young one. I think that works out real nice. So, uh, you know, that's just me, though. He is coming back from injury, so maybe he'll take a one-year cheap deal. Two mil. Prove it. Well, So, you know, doesn't we shall like we see. Anything going on with the Cowboys and free agent frenzy is definitely slowed down. Roberto, another what? year wasted. Here we go again. I'll be on tomorrow at 3 o'clock, so... Um, 
So I'm off tomorrow, so I'll do my morning this. video. Then I got to get some stuff done outside, and then uh, I'll be well, going live for the trade deadline. Those, yeah, there'll be stuff coming out. Clyde is terrible. Trey Lance is just as good as Fields. Uh, Tua Love Purdy uh, already <laughs> developing several years. He's ready to start. It only costs twenty two million twenty five. If we don't guarantee another team will. Yeah. Okay. I'm glad you have faith in that, but. I'm sitting there thinking that the, he didn't move up to even backup quarterback. Just saying. Yeah. So uh, Dax yeah, no, no. I, 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 I Mouse, I believe everybody. Saquon is a threat. He's, you know, I'd be curious to see how he runs behind a good offensive line. Uh, I'm just, you know, I'm just saying we've seen him for years now. We're not scared of Saquon Barkley, you know, just to me, not any more than Swift. Swift was the nasty little back, man. I don't still I, I, don't know I what actually, happened behind the Swift, scenes there. Swift, you think you would have saved your money. I, I would have rather had Swift, yeah. might be honest with you. Yeah, like resign Swift, go get you a Patrick Queen, go get you like a safety or – or go get a corner or something. I was just just surprised. That's all. I'm not saying it's bad. Hey, Mouse, you guys are in the pool. You guys are taking your shot. Mm -hmm. Probably wouldn't have went Saquon. I wanted Derrick Henry on a on a two year at most deal. He got a lot of money too. So you know, I want to go young at the running back position. I want I want a Trey Benson. I want a uh, Braylon Allen. I want the dude out of Tennessee. There's a there's a few guys that I'll take. Mm -hmm. So uh and if that happens, you're talking six one, two twenty three. The Trey Benson that's got you know, you know that you know, could take it to the house. Hell yeah. Well, the Texans are definitely going all in on this season. Yeah, they and they should, them. man. Eastside Harold, shout out to your squad, man. But it's exciting when they're young. That's the only thing when you do rebuild, but you got to have that quarterback. And they got it right last year. It fell right to him. So we'll see what he does this year, like Mark says. You always got to remember about that, that you know, sophomore slump type of deal where teams are actually, okay, this is what he does well. This is what he doesn't do so well. We've seen a lot of times in year number two, they're not the same quarterback. So we'll see. They're smart to put a lot of ammo, you know, on his team to help him with that. They didn't necessarily do that with the heck when he was young. I know you're not done yet, Jimbo son. I get it. You're not done. Deuce Vaughn RB one. He's the truth. <laughs> He's going to have to be. <laughs> Resign Smitty free up more money. Queen Patrick Queen signed. Yeah. Yeah. He's with the Steelers. Uh, I saw it earlier today. Okay. So, Let's see. Okay, this is breaking news. The lawyer for women accusing Dak Prescott of sexual assault told 105 The Fan her client was raped by Mr. Prescott, said Prescott's changed his story several times um, and admitted consensual sex occurred. So they uh, were speaking on The Fan. Mm. Why would the Cowboys... Did he get some audio from that? Um, I'm, I am i don't know what show it was. That was Calvin Watkins saying that uh, they were on there. Why would the Cowboys radio station allow opposing uh, lawyer interview? Seems weird that during contract talks, it's something that Ratings. was to happening. Well, <clears throat> this is, I I'm telling you, this right here is Des Bryant, that there might be a tape that is 10 times worse than um, Ray Rice. All over again. Wow. Okay. This uh, just got real. Mm. That's really interesting. And, uh, okay, cool. I think I fixed it. I'm listening to it. So I'm trying to see if I can find the audio for it. 
And of course, Mike Ferrello. He's got plenty of tapes out there. Let's see, because he's the one that started that shit before. Let's hear what he Of all the stories that landed yesterday, the one that drew the most traffic at ProFootballTalk.com was posted around dinner time. We had received a statement from Levi McCathern, who represents people like Jerry Jones and some... Yeah, I listened to this earlier. He now represents Dak Prescott, not as a defendant, but as a plaintiff. What happened was, on January 16, a letter was sent to Prescott. A demand letter, that's what the lawyers call it, Chris, where... Lawyers were advising Dak Prescott that they have a client who believes, alleges, accuses Prescott of sexual assault in February of 2017 and for the modest sum of $100 million will not go to the police and release all claims. And he had until February 16 to give them an answer. What he did on March 11 was he sued everybody for extortion. Everybody. I mean, scorched earth, the (laughs) accuser. Two lawyers sued on seven different legal theories or thereabouts, basically saying it's all fake, it's all phony, it's all made up, it's all a cash grab aimed at threatening him to quietly give them money. Otherwise, they'll take this public and make him look bad. He's taking it public, saying it's false. And look, if, if that's the case, if this is false, this is the way to do it. Fight back. Shout from the rooftops that this is fo- uh, fake and this is phony, and I'll prove it in court that this is all one big effort to shake me down. Yeah, well, I mean, listen, it's, it's a strong comeback. There's no doubt about that. The kind of comeback that you'd, you'd want to see, right, if you want to believe the guy didn't do something like that and is being taken advantage of. And, and hey, Dak Prescott, he's got the type of money in the bank already to go, oh, okay, hey, you want to you wanna play this game? Well, well I, I got some resources here, too, that can make your life interesting interesting as well we'll see where it goes certainly always sensitive situation uh you know when you talk about these type of subjects here but um you know Dak Prescott looking Mm -hmm. like he ain't gonna sit back and be the victim that's for sure he's vowed to donate anything he recovers from this effort to charity and ordinarily when you go against an individual there isn't money they're backing it up but the two lawyers may have assets that are now at risk because of this effort and look It's typically very legitimate. If you've got a client with a claim before you file suit, you send a letter engaging in efforts to resolve it before it goes to court. But, man, when you ask for $100 million out of the gates, something doesn't seem right to me. Yeah. That's a lot. I hear you there. Mil- Are you kidding me? Right. $100 million is your opener? <laughs> Why not make it a billion at that point? <laughs> so, to me, seeing that number made me think, these lawyers are up to something or they just don't get it. Because you don't, for a claim like this, based yeah. upon the allegations in the letter that they make, $100 million is not a realistic starting point yeah, this for is any serious. type of negotiation. We'll see how these see how lawyers that, feel today. We'll see how it plays out, though. Right, right. But $100 million out the gate, okay? I mean, that's crazy. So I don't know how that one's going to work out. That's what I was telling you earlier. But apparently she was on 105 The Fan per Clarence Hill, so we'll have to try and find that and listen to what yeah. the attorneys had to say. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, I, mean, I listened to the – yeah, that's basically what I listened to earlier. They were talking to Sean and RJ in the morning, and they said, you know, that's a, the, the that guy who runs pro football talk, he was an ex-attorney, so he knows all about it. So he was like – it was a little – you don't normally start out with, uh, we want $100 million in a letter you know, to the attorney, and we won't do nothing. That's not how it works. Normally, it's uh, there's been an incident – and then there's a trail, like a paper trail. It doesn't just come out, $100 million, let's go. First time you hear about a lawsuit. Mm-hmm. So, um, but Sledhead, like Mark's saying, you're right. This may be just the excuse that they're looking for to bring down his value. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, they're going to put in some the caveats in the contract. And it's just bad timing for Dak. Uh, you ain't lying. Um, Mr. Cowboy, what come up seven years later? I'm not going to be mean because we don't know exactly what happened. I'm not going to sit here and I know, but, you know, to me, if you're traumatized, right? You're traumatized. Seven years? You would want to do something. I could see waiting a year, maybe, or a few months, and your family is like, hey, listen, man, you were wronged and you need to do this. It's not like you didn't have money then. 
you know, it's just interesting. Taylor Mills agree, a, agrees to deal with the Giants. The yeah, helped Dak by acquiring Amari Cooper, um, and Jerry gave it two years to work. Cooper started complaining Dak wasn't hitting him enough and made Jerry think it wasn't worth the money since it wasn't working. Um, mm. I will say that it seems like most teams, I, it, with the exception of the Cowboys, look to bring in more talent and weapons for – their quarterback. Am I not right, right, right on that? Um, didn't we see all these teams go out there and say, let's get the best running back that we can to help our quarterback? I mean, the Texans have C.J. Stroud. Didn't Again. They, didn't they go out you know, I Jones? wanted Henry, but I didn't really want all these other guys. It would have been nice just to do a move, but I really didn't want all these guys. I, mean, I thought we were going with well, – what wins? Look at the teams who've won Super Bowls. Do they have a stud running back? Mm -hmm. I'll wait. I mean, you know, you could say McCaffrey. That whole they went in. You want to talk oh, about they, going all yeah, in? They, they went they all in to play like McCaffrey. Balls deep. Pause. They went all in, and what happened? They lost. So um, you had Isaiah Pacheco in twenty fifteen minutes down the road here. Her seventh round. A draft pick has won the last two Super Bowls. Um, I mean, I'll wait. Who was the last stud who won a Super Bowl? I'm not saying there hasn't been one, but that's not how you win. I'm not worried about running back. What I am concerned about is our offensive line right now and our defensive line. You can get me a young running back. <laughs> we can get a young running back. We do have Deuce Vaughn. I like what he can do. We have Hunter Lepke. I like the kid a lot. He's I don't think he's listed as a fullback though, Mark. I think he's a running back. Is he? Uh, so AJ, shout out to yeah. AJ. Dak deserves the benefit of the doubt. What about the character tells you he's guilty of this? Hey Lori, how are you? That he's been through with his mother. I agree with you. Supposedly on that. the boys are using analytics for the running back position. I would okay. that would not surprise me, Lori. Todd Gurley or Fly Parks. Uh, so yeah, he was the last one, right? But you would, but in saying that, fly, you would say though that they went all in. Remember that Ram team? They went all in, did oh, they the not? Did. Oh my God! Yeah, yeah they I had mean, everybody they fly. Ahead, got, so that's all Stanford, I would say. They went out and got. I'm not, over, and I'm not trying to somehow them. circle back to your team fly and say that you guys are screwed. Shout out to you for going to get Saquon. He's a dynamic back. We had Zeke. And I would say Saquon's more explosive than Zeke is. But what would that do for us? <laughs> you know, so we'll see. The reality is, Billy it's, D, it's what up, buddy? win a Super Bowl. You can have, you know, the best. I like Deuce Vaughn Pioneers, a third down back. I do. Well, the reality is, is you can have a great team and still not win the Super Bowl. But mm -hmm. it's hard to win a Super Bowl without having a great team. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You have to have the players to do it in all phases, okay? We've had times where our kicking has let it down or our holders let us down or our defense has let us down. You know, how many times have we been there? If we could just get one stop, you know, how crazy is it that I remember being in Hawaii watching the Cowboys taking on Denver, and that was the 51-49 game. And in the end, Tony Romo, last drive, throws an interception. And, you know, basically everybody's, oh, that Romo's a choker. Well, your defense gave up 51 freaking points. How about that? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. He went toe for toe with Peyton Manning. Right. How about your defense gets a stop? <laughs> when the other team knew you were passing the ball. <laughs> and this is the kind so. of, oh, your quarterback sucks. Well, what was your defense? They gave up 50 freaking one. So, I, you know, at some point, if the Cowboys were to move on with Dak Prescott at the end of this mm. At the end of this year, but I heard that. Mm. Mm -hmm. How would you feel about that? Um, I would, if they moved on from Dak. Mm -hmm. Um, I would. Well, my initial reaction would like. be, uh oh, <laughs> and then my next reaction, uh oh, and then, and then we would be like, are they going to do anything with it? <laughs> you know. So it's like, I don't think that's the answer. I. I'm curious to see what Trey Lance has. He only has how many passes has he played? He's played three games in the NFL. People forget that. He started three games in the NFL, I believe. It's, it, so yeah, He's played in four. 
total. Four, but I think he started three, which yeah. is like, okay, he's young, he's green. Three passes. And, you know, people will say, well. I mean, I think he's good, Brad. I just think he's injured a lot. Well, I don't know how he can say he's not that good. The Cowboys have, he'll be great. And it's like, he didn't have talent in there in San Francisco? No, I'm not. Yeah, again, I agree with you. I don't, you know. Here's the deal. We had Dak Prescott, who was playing really good on a rookie deal, and they didn't go all in. So why do we expect if we get all this extra money by not signing Dak, right, mm -hmm. that we're going to go all in? Uh, yeah. You know, there's always some sort of a, an excuse we with this team. Back. So, But how would I feel? I'd be very apprehensive and nervous because I remember – I remember all the lean years without having a like quarterback. I know who who uh, would be happy is all the NFC East teams because oh you know it'll be easier to beat the Cowboys without Dak Prescott. Yeah, we may choke in the playoffs, but we always Dak's yeah. record in East is what like twenty seven and seven, something like that. Uh, I think it's actually better than that. Like, some weird, not some like crazy number like, like that. So. This roster after the draft will be properly prepared for a young QB. I hope you're right, Cowboys. You, you bring some. And eight. How much? 32, 32 and eight. eight. Yeah. Think about that. That's his record against the NFC East. And we have so. 105 the fans saying that they'd rather have Baker Mayfield or Kirk Cousins. Because it's all about the playoffs. You know that. And even though. When you get to the playoffs, you play the hard teams or, or the better coached and the better talented teams, and you just can't roll. Let's face it, our division has been horrible on pretty much. Giants have stunk and Washington have stunk. Eagles have been good. Me, it's been the Cowboys and Eagles taking turns winning the the uh, division. Yeah, it was so, a sprinkle of Washington um, during COVID. Yeah, and well, Washington won seven wins. And won a division. So they're going to flex on that. Then you go ahead. I think that was a Dak Prescott injury year, wasn't it? Right. It yeah. was. Well, I think we have beat this dead horse enough today. Yeah, I think so too, man. And Thanks for everybody who you, came you out. I'm off crazy. tomorrow, so I'll be doing a video in the morning. I'll have my live stream at 3, and then we'll have my live stream again tomorrow night at 8 for the Hump Day Live with Prime Time. Okay, get humping. We are exactly 2,500 away from 100,000. Nice. Oh, my God. I can't believe it. It's it's getting close. <laughs> Water boy. My, my mic is low? Oh, I, I no. should be talking to my, in my mic. Yeah, you've been talking off the side. You're like shooting. Tear it all down and but start from it. scratch. You know, it's funny people keep saying that. Tear it down. I, but I don't know that they're going to be happy about, you know, the team being 5-11 and 11 for a couple of years. Yeah. You know what I mean? They keep saying, mm -hmm. tear it down and start over. Uh, yeah. And, and then what if? What if they can't get it right? What if we end up drafting like we did last year quite a few of those times? What if Will McClay ends up leaving after this year and you tear it down and you get... I'm hearing that a lot, too. Forehead will be running a draft. Mm. Your boy. Well, <laughs> so the only guy... Let, let's be clear here. The only guy that we really wanted, or the main guy we wanted, is Bobby Wagner. Everybody else has pretty much been picked up off the board, right? Um... Uh, DJ Reader, I'd like to have DJ Reader. There's, there's a few, there's a few guys. Give me DJ Reader. You bring back Hankins. Give me DJ Reader. Bring back uh, Gilmore. Uh, you can bring back uh, Jordan Lewis on the cheap. That's fine. Mm -hmm. If we do that, then uh, you give me Wagner or Eric Kendricks. So they play linebacker. Yeah, I'm good. And then go into the draft. And then go into the draft where we will be hanging out with hopefully some peeps because I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. it. This is this is hard, but um, pause. But it is what it is. We're used to it. We are used to it. Yeah. Um. All right. Well, 
I'm going to go ahead and get ready to get out of here. And I want to say thank you to all the good people that are here. Um, I probably will do something tomorrow as well. Um, but I don't expect anything to happen. I mean, basically, you've seen all the major deals already happen um, yesterday and today. Yeah, tomorrow will just be finalizing those contracts. So definitely check out my man, Game Time Brian. He's closing in on two Gs. And um, we all appreciate all of your support here. I'll say keep the faith because it, it can't get much worse than what it yeah. is now. I mean, we've already pretty much got the roster and stuff. So we have nowhere to go from here but up. And have a good one. Peace out.